Hello traders, P. Kensington from Gold Metal Penny Stocks here and today I want to talk to you about the stock chart for INBI, Infusion Brands International Incorporated, which is an OTC QB markets traded stock. So usually I just kind of talk about the stock charts, but today I want to talk about some fundamental stuff as well because this one has a lot of big stuff going on for it. So according to the latest data on OTC markets, we have a book value of about 10 cents a share. And since we're trading at five and a half cents right now, we're looking at almost 100% in gains just to get up to the book value. And we all know that a lot of stocks commonly trade above their book value, so we could easily soar above that. And one of the reasons I think we will soar above that is because currently the 91.1% um, of the float is owned by a hedge fund that's worth about $3 billion called um, VIXIS Capital, V-I-C-I-S Capital, LLC. And um, another thing that's uh, making me think that this might soon be an acquisition or merger target would be the fact that Fixus Capital just threw on one of their uh, co-founders onto the board of directors for INBI. So um, that's something to keep you, keep a close eye on. That could easily catapult us up to, you know, above 25 cents would be my guess. Um, so let's talk about the chart. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about on this chart would be the RSI, uh, uh, which is the Relative Strength Index. And you'll notice that uh, the past couple days it's kind of reset. Um, we're back down to 48.05 and the five period RSI is actually down to 4604. Now uh, we're only 1.95 points away from what's being considered the buy zone which is between 50 and 70 and generally when the five period um, RSI crosses above the 14 period RSI uh, it's generally a buy signal going upwards and you'll notice that the five period RSI is a lot more volatile so it could easily cross above it um, at about the same time that uh, both RSIs hit the buy zone. So that could be kind of a conceived as a double buy signal um, from the RSI. The next thing I want to point out is that the Bollinger Bands, which are a volatility indicator, are currently sitting, uh, and they're very tightly pinched within the Keltner channels. So this is what we'd call uh, an extreme consolidation um, period, and it's a sign that INBI could soon see what's called you know, the pinch play. And this is when the Bollinger Bands spread rapidly apart and break out of the Keltner channels, and this is generally a very powerful breakout, especially after being pinched so tightly and symmetrically. So the next thing I want to point out is the PARSAR, which is this little, um, these little blue ball kind of indicators. I'm circling a couple of them. Um, this is kind of showing you which direction the trend is going. And when the price per share hits it, it flips. So as you can see, if we uptick once, it's going to hit the PARSAR and it's going to flip and be below the price per share, which is actually a bullish sign. That means a bullish trend is starting. Um, when the PARSAR gets down here below the price per share, that's, that's going to be something looking forward for the bulls here. The next thing I want to point out is the MACD and, and the TRIX, which are uh, currently, uh, they're coming together, um, and they're both short-term momentum indicators. They're intersecting, and they're both about to make a bullish crossover with positive divergence. They're both about to become very bullish. That's the MACD there that I just circled. You're going to want to watch, a, watch for positive divergence there. And the TRIX is right here. Again, same story, watching for positive divergence and a curl up. The next indicator I want to talk about is the volume by price, which is over here on the left. You'll notice that it kind of tells you um, how much of the volume was, was buys and how much was sells. And you'll see that over 90% of the volume up here at uh, 6 to 6.5 six cents was buys. I mean, this is just an insane amount of buys versus sells. So there's a lot of accumulation up there, which is kind of saying that people bought at a higher price and they're not going to want to sell at a loss or um, you know they're going to want to hold for profits or uh, hold at least to be to get out even and so we, that's another kind of indicator that we can just expect to get up above that pretty soon here because we have a lot of people holding from up there as you can tell from not very much red volume uh, at any of the the lower levels of price so the next thing to talk about really quickly is that we've been seeing just in general huge huge green volume days and relatively lower red volume days, even though there's not many red volume days at all. This is another strong sign for accumulation that's backed up by the chicken money flow, the CMF indicator, which is this one. So you'll see it's currently at 0.572, and it's kind of holding around these levels. That's what's considered an extremely bullish level because 0.2 is what's considered bullish, and 0.4 is considered very bullish. I mean, we're sitting at 0.572, that's extremely bullish. That means there's a lot of retail accumulation here. 
So keep your eyes on this one coming up here uh, through the rest of this week. And there are just a couple more indicators I want to talk about quick, quickly. I'll just briefly mention the Williams percent R um, is an indicator, the indicator right here, and it's another momentum indicator that's kind of telling traders that the stock is about to make a bullish move. You'll notice that it's up here in the oversold range or overbought range rather, and this is an indicator that you actually want to see consistently overbought. Um, that's a bullish signal when it comes to the Williams percent R. And you can see that we've been holding in that overbought range for a while. So that's very bullish in terms of momentum. And finally, I want to talk about the ROC, which is the rate of change indicator. You'll see that it's spiking up into bullish territory really hard. And generally, the more hard it spikes, or the, yeah, the more hard it spikes up, the stronger the, the uptrend is. And it kind of shows that the bulls are getting traction here. And um, all the, basically all the momentum indicators are kind of pointing bullishly right now. So... I, INBI is going to be one to watch throughout the rest of the week, starting on Tuesday for sure. Um, and there's going to be a detailed research report on the blog at www.goldmetalpennystocks.com tomorrow. So be sure to head on over there and check it out because it's going to have pretty much everything I've talked about and then some talk mentions a, sh a short squeeze with a lot of short volume lately and um, gets more in depth on the fundamentals and, and financial information of the company. So thanks for watching and I'm not a financial professional so please just watch this video uh, as entertainment and don't base a buy or sell decision off of this. Thanks.